So what we're going to do is, so the pain is in this area. Uh, so one thing will go away from here, one thing will go here. Is that, is that? Yeah, it's midline exact, midline, I don't know. Yeah, so, uh, okay, well, here's the oh, midline, I can feel it. All right, so that's his midline. So his pain, you see these, this line here? Right. So that's it's, it's pretty much like here, over okay. to about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Little pinch, Gary, okay? Next is still but It's still hurting, okay? This yeah, is a yeah, light needle. Yeah. Because that's going to be our trajectory for our... Okay. okay. Just a couple of these, okay? Over here. Okay, now we have to be careful because we know at this level, if we go too deep, his lung is below the ribs. Right. So we don't want to have a pneumothorax, so we keep it superficial. So that's the first thing we do. And then we just pull it close here. And here. Okay, okay. let's get our leads. This off. Okay. Our needles, actually. Do I need more to go through this one? So, field stimulator. The first thing we want to do is bend the needle, okay? So, now you can see the bevel is right here. The, the lead is going to come out in this direction of the bevel. So what we'll do is we'll bend it. Now it's imperative that we have a plastic stylet, otherwise the, the stylet that comes in the kit will not come out if you bend that needle because it's a metal stylet. Okay, so we're going to do this one as well. Okay. So you can see that if I am deep, this is how it's going to sit, okay? Same thing with this one. So they're basically going to be parallel. The needles are both bent in a parallel fashion, okay? So then what you want to do is, what we'll do is, so there's two planes that we have to be concerned about. One is looking AP, we want to make sure that our leads are in the right trajectory. And then on the lateral, we want to know about our depth, okay? How are you doing down there, all right? Okay, so I numbed up your skin here, but you're going to feel a little bit of this because I can't numb up where I'm going to put the lead mm -hmm. because then you won't be able to feel the stimulation, okay? okay. So we're just going to... Lots of pressure. So okay. looking at this, our lead will, will potentially go up to this area. So, but when we push it out, it'll come a little higher, okay? So... Some pinches, okay? So let's, okay, so on our AP we're looking good. See that? Okay, we're just lateral to the spinous processes on the right, okay? So now let's go to the lateral. Don't go too deep, too low. So we want to take a look at Okay, so a little more lower. 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 Okay. Okay, so that's pretty good. So we can see that our depth, you're going to feel a little pressure as I push these along. Okay, that's a good depth right there. See that depth? So see how far we are from the spinous processes and see how deep we are at the skin, okay? So the same thing, you want to drive this one? So make sure that it doesn't go right or left, you want to keep it in that same direction. And they look good, they're pretty parallel, okay? So now what we're going to do is, we're going to take our lead, this is a 3-6 lead, Tom? Correct. So it has 6 millimeter spacing between each Electrode, so it is the widest spaced uh, cylindrical lead that is available on the market that is FDA approved. Mm -hmm. So we're going to push that. I can feel that's it just came out of the needle. Okay, see that how it came out of the needle? Yes, so I can even advance it a bit more. Okay, in that plane, and that's what I told you about. You can advance it past. It looks good. So, John, I'm going to let you do the next one. Dr. Miner. So, I'll give you that. Here, hold that end and I'll take this out. There you go. Okay, so you want to have this facing up the, the bend.
Discovery, I'm assuming. Yeah, just go right to the end. You'll feel a little resistance as little it resistance now. comes to the end of the needle. I don't think you're there yet. You're, okay. You've got to go away. So I haven't felt the resistance yet. There's the There's resistance right there, okay? Yeah. Now, the now just push it through a little. See that? Feel that? Okay, now let's take a picture. Okay, perfect. See how they came in a little? Came right. So that actually looks very good. I like that. Um, so let's uh, save and swap and take a lateral. So now at this point, unlike spinal cord stimulation, um, what we have to do is remove the needle to test because the needle is covering many of those electrodes at this point. Take a picture of that. A little, a little higher. Jeremy, keep it the same depth. Okay, so that looks good. Let's save that. It looks actually very good. So now what we'll do is, we'll, while holding you like this... like to advance it slightly beyond because it pulls or not? It's not going to pull as long as we keep that held there. Okay. And I'm just going to take this right off. And just make sure you don't let that dislodge the needle, the, uh, the lead within the needle. You can push a little up if you want to. this one a bit. It's parallel. We can always pull them back. Okay, save that. Now we'll connect these to the testing cable. So A, A and C, Tom, are going to be the midline lead, the more midline lead. Okay. And then B and D will be the one that's more lateral. Sounds good. So we'll hand that off to Tom. After connecting. Let's stand close to Tom and we'll start testing. Okay, my friend. Okay. So this is that part where I'm going to start to turn the stimulation up for you, okay? Okay. Yeah, test, test the connections real quick. Just make sure everything lines up. All the impedances are normal, guys, so everything looks great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the top of the leads, okay? We want to look for some comfortable either stimulation sensations or some pressure, okay? Okay. All right, just give it just another second here as it downloads everything that we need. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the wire that's kind of a little more towards the center. All right, Gary? So okay. tell me, I want you to tell me when you first start to feel anything new here. Okay. All right, here we go. Feel any tingling, any pressure going on yet? No. Okay. Go well, nice and easy, nice and slow until you start to feel something. How about there, bud? Yeah, I think I feel like a pressure. It's like more pressure than anything else there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to kind of, I'm going to raise that up just a little bit. I want to see if I can get any tingling whatsoever up there, all right? Okay. As long as it's not painful, okay? Do you feel that getting stronger? Yeah. you feel any tingling kind of starting in that area? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay. Let's keep going with it. If it gets painful at all, let me know. Okay, good. You feel like that's kind of up at the northern border, the upper border of where your normal pain is there? Or you know it needs to be a little lower. Is there any way you can push on way back the same time you're doing that? Yeah, that's a great point. Right in there? Go a little higher. Right there, I think is where it feels like it is. That's okay. where you feel that like where it is? should be. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, is, is that in the area that normally bothers you, bud? Yes. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do is you're going to feel this go off, okay? We're going to skip around just a little bit with this part. Okay. I'm going to test the bottom part of that same wire. 
and I want to make sure that we're covering the, the southern border of that area that normally bothers you, okay? Gotcha. All right, cranking it up here. Feel any changes yet? No. You responded at six milliamps at that northern end. Okay. We're at four now. How about there, any pressure? No. Okay. This is a little closer to where the numbing medication is, so you'd expect a right. little time. Okay. Actually, I was thinking of originally trying to get. How about there, my friend? Here. I can kind of feel that pressure again, but I don't feel that tingly. Okay. How about there now, my friend? Just a little bit more pressure. Okay. Is that um, where your pain usually is, or? You're right on the bottom, I think, of it. Perfect. Yeah. So that's, that's good. good. So that's okay. good. Good. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it, and so you feel like this is kind of in the correct area on the lower border. Yes. Okay. Throughout this whole time, he's been pretty consistent. All right. right. So. We have two more places to test, okay, and then okay. we're all done. All right, so now we're, what we're going to try to do is we're going to work a little laterally there. So we're going to test the upper part of the outer wire. You feel anything going on there? No. Okay. How about now? No, after the pretend. Okay, there you go. That's what you're looking at. Okay, so tingling, is that also covering some of the area that normally bothers you, bud? Yep, it kind of feels a little low. A little low in terms of its location? Right. Okay. Well, the other one covered the higher part here. How yeah, about? That's really good. That, okay. Now, is that up in the, Is that covering some of the area that bothers you, though? Oh yeah. Okay. Good. Which Actually, lead are you on now? I'm on the second one. The down oh, the front on the outside lead. Yep. Last one. Okay. Okay. That's good. It's creating the paresthesia feeling, something like that, rather than anything painful. So you guys are in the great position. There's no muscle contraction, which is exactly last one. The okay. Sensation to work. Yeah. Okay. So Feel anything yet? A little bit. How about now? Yep, yeah, I feel it. Okay. Is that also covering an area that normally bothers you, bud? Yes. Okay. All right, so we've got it surrounded, okay? There's no way your pain can escape us now. Good. I'm going to turn it off now, okay? Okay. We're going to start to anchor these down. Well, why don't we check all of them together? Did you check all we both can together? Do, we can do that. Yeah, do that yeah. together. I'd like to check both leads together so that we can see if we're capturing the entire pain area. So we have one lead that's next to the spine. We have one lead that's a bit lateral and we want to see if we encompass the entire pain area with our stimulation. So we'll do one last test. Okay, I'm turning it up again, okay? Yep. Why don't you tell me when you start to feel it? Yep, I feel it. Okay, is it strong there? It's decent. Okay, let's, let's get it up there where it's good and strong. All right, you feeling that in, a, in, a, in an area at the northern border of where your pain is? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna add another area to it at the same time, okay? Yep. And now we're going to start to target the lower border here. Why don't you tell me when you first start to feel this one, okay? So he's, he's feeling basically pretty consistent around 4 milliamps from both spots here. Anywhere from 4 to 6 milliamps. All right, bud. How about there? Do you feel that yet? Yes. Is that strong? It, no. Well, okay. I don't start it out. Okay. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. Now, do you feel that? I've got both of those areas going, all all four areas here. Do you feel like we've got the entire area covered? Are we missing any of your painful areas now? Can you go into the center top? Center like top again? Like push on it. Yeah. Oh, do you want to push on it? Yeah. Uh, that, that, I'm feeling something there. That's me pushing. When you push, it changes yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Do you feel any tingling up in that area there? Yeah. So it's covering your entire pain area in that location. Feels like it, yes. Excellent. Okay, okay. we're good. All of that. Perfect all procedure. So. so we'll just anchor the leads down, put a bandage on top, and we're done. Thank you.